Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today we are playing Star Maid, and we're working more on the cargo container container. And I've done a few things since, uh, since last time. I ripped up all this logic, I wasn't happy with it. So, that's gone, I'm gonna fool with that later. And I've re-added a, a, uh, return rail here for testing. And I've added this, or this post here, and all this logic stuff. And this button. And that build block. And that build block. Alright, I was working out a way to, uh, to, uh, choose which, which container to send out to output. The idea is, I hit, through my button, no, this button, and it runs through a logic thing, and it tells which container to go, to come this way. And right now it's set up to go back to the, uh, the input portion, but instead I want it to come out, out here and stop for output. I don't want it to come straight here because the idea is to access these pods, or containers, from inside the station. You can't do that if there's a rail in your way, so I have this little outcropping here. Outcropping? That's not the right word. But you understood it. And so this is like my fourth or fifth take of this episode, because uh, I did something and the it shouldn't do that. And I did something else and said it shouldn't do that. Then I got frustrated and I put it down for a couple days. So I'm back. This should be go on Friday. Anywho, we need to set up this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work it, walk you through it once I build it over here. But first, we need a button, and we need a second button over here to to tell me if something has gone into the input. It's sort of like I have these buttons telling me, oh, something's coming into the slot. I want the same system to tell me, oh, something's coming into this input here. Except I want a flip-flop there. And the flip-flop, see how I set that up. Flip-flop, not and. Okay. Flip-flop. See what, I'm going to make a little bar here. And it's going to go to a flip-flop and a knot. Uh, the flip-flop is going to go to a knot. And we're going to give it lights. Uh, see, the flip-flop is going to be, and the knot is going to be... Um, actually, I want that the other way around. Uh, I think. Anyway, we'll we'll work out which way the lights go. I don't want to get com confused myself again. Well, we'll work out which way the lights go later. Uh, six. Uh, okay. And that works. Okay. Let's leave it green. So that portion is set up. This is my input button. I'm referencing this because it took me forever to work it, so I'm going to be using it. Uh, this simulates that. This simulates this button. This is an AND. Okay, I want to put the AND over here. And I'm going to come down and build it sort of under here, so this will be a walkway in the station if it, if it ever gets completed. I don't plan actually building the station, just the guts for it. But still, I don't want wiring going all over the place. Well, I do, but not really. Let's see, so we're going to put our and block closer this way. Okay. I don't like floating platforms. So where's my and? And, and, and. I have two of these things set up. Alright. And I want and coming from the knot and from this button. See? And I have the it's flip flop set to knot. And okay. That works. Now, I want this set up to an OR. OR, OR, OR. And going to OR. No, no, the OR is an input to the AND. I think. No, the OR does something totally different. So we're going to ignore the OR for the moment. And. We're going to set you to a button, attach you to a button, uh, except I don't know where that, okay. So now, fires that button, just like that does, 
except this button is going to go to a string of delay blocks. And we are going to do our button this way. And we're going to stick our delay blocks over here. Uh, delay blocks, delay, delay, delay. You don't need this many delay blocks, but I'm adding this many. Uh, actually, we are not going to even add that many. There, that should work. Except we want them to start from the bottom and go... The okay, I'm getting there. And this button controls that delay, so when I hit this button, it registers and then it clicks through the delays. Alright, we are working. We're getting there. Alright, first one up. Let's see, how did I set this up? Not click. Alright, first one up, I'm going to need an AND and a NOT. Okay, so I'm going to set you up on this delay. Alright, so I need an AND and a NOT. I want input from the that, and this flip-flop has to tell me yes. And this not has to tell me yes. And if all that's true, it'll trigger that button. But it's not going to be. Because... Because... That not's not yes. Uh, but let's... Uh, da -da. Let's just test this out. Uh, no, no, no. Make sure... Sanity check, if you will. And we're going to hit that button, and this should... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. And I I didn't figure that in my... my... Uh, my test, that should also be a knot. There we go. So let him cycle through. This is why I added my return rail this time. Alright, and we're now going to hit the... Why didn't you... Trigger. Okay, that's why I added my return rail, because when I'm fiddling in with these bits instead of the buttons I know, I'm going to do something dumb anyway. Now when I hit that button, click, click, it triggers that, and we're good. Except I want to get rid of you. And you for now, because that's not what I wanted. Okay. Make sure that wasn't connected to anything. This knot is going to be connected. Ooh, wait a minute. I don't need a knot this time, it just needs to be and you because it's that flip-flops triggered when they're empty all right let me build the circuit again up here and I'll explain what exactly I'm doing all right so I need an and you to you a not no 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 you to you and from you to you to you to you I think Alright, what this should do, is I hit the button, it checks to see, oh, there's nothing here, you're good. You hit this button, which activates this delay, which activates this delay, this delay is not necessary. If, when this delay's hit, this checks, is this delay on? Yes. Is there something here? Yes. And is there something here? Or is this flip-flop on? And if all that's true, then this one fires. But if it's not, it stays alone, or it stays where it is. Are you just now getting back? Wow, it's a slow cargo thing. I guess the return rails was doing it. Anyway, but if then it clicks here and it checks, is something here? Yes or no. So what it should be doing is saying, going through here, it's checking 
this saying, wait a minute, is the line above me empty? If it is, I'll fire this one if there's something here to, to export. So let's hit the button. It's going to go through. It's going to say, oh, something's before me. It's going to continue on in its path and not work. Oh, because I didn't reset this flip-flop. There we go. Always reset your logic circuits. Always test them because the initial setup, sometimes it, it doesn't do quite right. So always run it through before you say, oh, no, it's broken and start ripping stuff apart. All right, probably far enough. So you're going to go check, check. It's going to check that one. It's going to say, ah, very good. Now, we're going to turn you off. We're going to clog up the whole system. Actually, we want... Can I goof that up? And I want nothing to be in here. Hit there, and we're going to fire. Okay. Now when I click this button, this one should fire because there's nothing in the top row. So we're going to look, look, click, click, fire. And it's going to run into this one because my personal bad time. Isn't that cool? And that's what I fiddled with all this. I tried doing it without the delay blocks and I did fire both of them at the same time and they jammed and I had things pinging off of the space and it was horrible. Oh, oh, oh I want you to turn back on because I want to refill my circuits. And... We're going to do one of these. Right there. We're going to fire. Except everything. Oh, no, no. Okay, I was looking at the top one. Now it should come through. Hit this. Go down. Hit here. Trigger. That. Now it's red. Now when I hit that button, it shouldn't even fire the delay blocks. Except, um, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, we're going to set this up like so to the flip-flop. So now, when the, this is ejected, it should undo this activation module, fire this knot, reset the flip-flop. Let's hop out of build mode, and... There we go, see? The light turned green. It means it's empty for... slot's empty. Let's test that again. Click. Click, out and green, and it reset. Very good. All right. I am so happy that works. All right, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade and my cargo container container system. Um, I'm, nope, I'm trapped. I wonder why I don't realign to this. When I'm, okay, there we go, except I don't really want to do that. Okay, anyway, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade and the container... Cargo container container system. That's a lot of logic. Isn't it beautiful? That's probably a good way to clean it up. Okay. I will take you cats later. Sorry, I'm just admiring my cargo container container. That's fun to say. <laughs>